Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. The days of bemoaning the fact that sporty car builders now sell more SUVs than cars are coming to an end. It's time to face the reality of where we are today. SUVs are win-wins. People can't get enough of them. And they are highly profitable to build. So it's no shocker that even Lamborghini now has an SUV, the Aorus. Studious viewers will, of course, point out that this 2019 Lamborghini Urus is not the first utility vehicle from the brand. That would be the LM002, which we tested way back in 1988. Well, that rugged military spec 4x4 was nothing at all like the Urus, having more in common with a tractor than a high performance machine. The Urus, on the other hand, manages to look, feel, and yes, drive much like what one expects from a modern Lamborghini supercar. Lamborghini was kind enough to drop off a blindingly yellow Urus test vehicle while we were at our winter proving grounds of Roebling Road Raceway near Savannah, Georgia. And while there is a clear priority on high performance, the interior space is very livable as well with great comfort and legit room for four adults. And now here's the part where we tell you that being part of the Volkswagen Group, the Urus is based on the Audi Q7. Technically, that is correct, but needless to say, you won't be doing a lot of part swapping between the two, as Lambo started with just the basic architecture and bolted their own stuff onto it, including styling that is far faster than any other SUV in the VW corporate stable. Likewise, they took just the 4-liter V8 twin turbo engine's block and built their own version that whips up 641 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. Then, of course, Lamborghini engineers had their way with the ZF8 speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive system, which includes torque vectoring as well as four-wheel steering. Bottom line, it's a 4,800-pound sport utility that can streak to 60 in 3.6 seconds with a factory-claimed world's best 190 mile per hour top end and outhandle and outbreak numerous exotic sports cars and even get you through some light off-roading situations as well, thanks to all-wheel drive traction and drive modes that can pump up the ride height as far as 9.8 inches. But nothing about the experience makes you want to direct the Urus to the Rubicon. Rather, we took its talents to Roebling's nine high-speed turns. It feels tight and fast, no matter how you're driving it or where you're driving it to. And all of that's without even clicking over to Corsa mode, where things get positively intense. Urus gets deceptively fast very quickly, almost making you forget you're in an SUV. But it can't quite overcome the fact that your posterior is quite a ways off the pavement. Braking is by way of 10-piston calipers clamping down on standard ceramic disc. Performance was borderline epic. It certainly doesn't look like that original Rambo Lambo, nor does it really even look like an SUV in the true sense. More of a sleek hatchback that sits way off the ground, has all-wheel drive, and rides on 21-inch wheels or these matte finish 22s if you prefer. Honestly, few exotic car owners ever drive their car on a racetrack or even sniff its performance potential. Thus, the Urus actually makes way more sense as a daily driver, and it can still handle itself quite well if you do get talked into a track day. Things inside are all Lamborghini with no trace of Audi anything. You'll find plenty of the traditional hexagon and Y shapes, as well as the same TFT gauge panel used in the Uricon. The center console features an identical start button with flip-up cover as well, but the drive modes and chassis selectors that bookend it are more extensive. Above are two touchscreens, one for infotainment and one for cabin comfort. For hauling stuff, there's 21.8 cubic feet of cargo space in back, and you can always lower the air suspension to make loading easier. 
Now for the reality check. Government fuel economy ratings are 12 cities, 17 highway, and 14 combined. And pricing starts at $203,995. If you got it, why not flaunt it in a Urus? There's no doubt that there are lots of Lamborghini fans that loathe the idea of this 2019 Urus. But trust us, once you drive it, there is absolutely nothing to hate about it. It's a fantastic modern performance car in an SUV-ish body. And here's where we'd love to end this test with a bad pun about Lamborghini following the SUV herd with the Urus, but actually, they're now in the lead.